Bonjour everyone! My name is Shikha Nair and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel where learning is easy as well as fun. In today's video, I will be solving the lesson number 9 of a Pranola Francais method 1 book. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's begin. So we are going to do today lesson number 9 of a Pranola Francais method 1 book. So let's see what's the name of the lesson. So the name of the lesson is Les Vacances. Les Vacances, it means the vacations. So let's see what we are going to learn in lesson 9. In lesson 9, we are going to learn Les Mois de l'année, that are the months of the year. And we will be learning Le Vocabulaire. That is the, the new words that we keep on learning in each and every lesson. So this lesson is very, very small as well as short. So let's move ahead. So this is the first page of the lesson. So it's written lesson neuf. That means lesson number nine. And it's written les vacances. That means the vacations. Now before reading out the text written on this page, let's firstly learn the months of the year or we can say it as les mois de l'année. So how we say months of the year in French? To months of the year we say les mois de l'année. So let's begin with January. To January we say janvier, February, février, March, Mars, April, Avril, May is May only but the spellings are different. June, to June we say juin. July, Juillet, August, Août, September, September, October, October, November, November, and December is December. So September, October, November, December are almost same. The spellings are same. It's just that in case of English, we write down ER at the end. But in French, we just invert it and we write down RE at the last. Now let's move ahead with the vocabulary that we will be learning in this lesson. So the first word is aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui means today. Then it's written dernier. Dernier means last. Then it's written les vacances d'été. Les vacances d'été means the summer vacations. Commons. Commons means starting or start. Content. Content means happy. Then plage. Plage is beach. Pour. Pour means for. And last is compine. Compine means countryside. Now let's read out the text. So the text is, the text says that aujourd'hui, that means today, c'est le dernier. It is the last jour de l'école. So it is the last day of the school. Dernier jour, last day, de l'école of the school. Then it's written dama, that means tomorrow. Les vacances d'été, the les vacances d'été, that means the summer vacations. Commons, commons means are starting. So it's written dama, les vacances d'été commons, that means tomorrow the summer vacations are starting. Then it's written, les élèves sont contents. Les élèves, that means the students, sont contents, are happy. Ils ont deux mois. They have, ils ont is the above verb, that means they have deux mois de vacances. Deux mois, that means two months of vacations. Manuel va, Manuel va, Manuel goes à la plage pour une semaine. Manuel is going à la plage to the beach pour une semaine for a week. Une semaine is a week. Then it's written Isabel et sa famille. Isabel and her family vont à la campagne. Vont à la campagne are going to the countryside. Sorry, countryside. Et Anish va and Anish is going on end. On end and Anish is going to India. Then it's written Bon vacances, that means happy holidays. So let's do the question answers related to it. So it's written, that means tell true or false. So it's written, 
Aujourd'hui, c'est le premier jour de la l'école. So today, it's the first day of the school. That's four. It's the dernier jour. That is the last day of the school. Then it's written, Ils ont deux mois de vacances. They have two months of vacations. That's vrai. Then third one, it's written, Manuel va à la piscine. Manuel is going to the swimming pool. Piscine is swimming pool. That's four. Manuel is going to the beach. That is à la plage. Then fourth one, it's written, Anish va en Inde. Anish is going to India. That's vrai. Fifth one says, Isabel et Caroline vont à la campagne. Isabel and Caroline are going to the countryside. Is it true? That's four. Isabel et sa famille are going to the countryside. That means Isabel and her family are going to the countryside. Now let's move to the next exercise. It says that complete avec a mot du texte. That means complete with a word from the text. So its first one is dash je vais à la plage. Dash je vais à la plage. That means I am going to the beach. So you will write down aujourd'hui. That means today I am going to the beach. Second one is j'ai dash livre. So you can write down j'ai de livre. I have two books. Third one, nous aimons les dash. We like les vacances d'été. So we like the summer vacations. Fourth one, il dash à l'école. They go to the school. That will be il vont à l'école. They go to the school. Now let's firstly read out les mois de l'année. That are the months of the year. So it's written janvier. That's January. Moreover, they have written the festivals that they celebrate in each and every month. So it's written Nouvel An. Nouvel An is the New Year they celebrate in janvier. Next is février. Février is February. So in in the month of February, they celebrate Saint Valentin. Saint Valentin. Saint Valentin is the Valentine's Day. Then in the month of March, we say it as Mars. They celebrate a festival, Saint Patrick. Then Avril. Avril is April. So in the month of April or Avril, they celebrate Park. Park is Easter. Then it's written May. To May, we say May only. They celebrate Fête du Travail. Fête du Travail. That is the Labor's Day. Then to June, they say Juin. In the month of Juan, they celebrate Fête du Père, that is Father's Day. Then is Juillet. Juillet is July. In the month of July, they have their national festival, that is Fête Nationale. Fête Nationale. So on 14th of July, they have their Republic Day. Then it's written Oot. Oot is August. So in the month of August, they celebrate Azam Sion, that's again a festival. Then it's written September. September is September. They celebrate Ani Scholar. What is Ani Scholar? They start with their new academic year in the month of September. Then it's October or October. They celebrate Halloween. Halloween is Halloween. Then November. November is November. They celebrate Toussaint. Toussaint is again a festival of you can say autumn. Then we say it as December. December is December. And in the month of December, they celebrate Noel. Noel is Christmas. Now let's move ahead. So it's written, Il y a 12 mois dans une année. That means there are 12 months in a year. Now, and on the left hand side, they have written Les Vacances Scolaires en France. That are the vacations they get in France, the school holidays that they get in France. Les Vacances Scolaires are the academic vacations in France. And on the right hand side, they have written Les Vacances Scolaires dans votre pays. That means the academic vacations that you get in your country. So let's read out Les Vacances Scolaires en France. So the vacations that they get is Vacances de Toussaint. That's a festival that they celebrate. They get it for these jours that are 10 days. Then it's Vacances de Noël. That are the Christmas holidays. They get it for Cannes jours that are 15 days. Then Vacances de Printemps. That are the spring holidays also they get. That are for Cannes jours also. Then they get Vacances d'été, that are the summer holidays they get for the mois, which are those Juillet et Août, that is July and August. So here I'm writing down the vacations of my country, that is of India. So you can also write down the vacations that you get in your country, especially the academic vacation.
So first thing I'm writing down Vikonstete. So in India also we get the summer vacations approximately for the Mua. Then Vekons the Noel. Vekons the Noel, we also get the Christmas holidays, but that lasts for these jour. Then Vekons Scholar. Vekons Scholar are the academic vacations that we get after completing the academic year. That is for approximately Vesur. Then we get Vekons the Diwali. So Diwali is a very famous festival in India. So we get the vacations for Diwali also. That is for Seth Jur. Then we get Vekons the Navratra. So we celebrate Navratra also in India. So for that also we get holidays that are for Kathos Jur. You can change the festivals or the vacations according to yourself and you can change the days also. Now let's move ahead. So we are just left with the vocabulary of this chapter. So let's fastly read out. So it's long, long is a year. Lani, that's whole year. Lani scholar, academic year. Lani Versaire is birthday. La Zamsion is a Zamsion. It's a religious festival that they celebrate in France. Aujourd'hui is today. L'automne, autumn. La Compagne, it's countryside. Commence, commence is another ER verb which means to start or to begin. Content, that means happy. Dama, tomorrow. Dernier, last. L'élève, that's pupil. L'été, summer. La fête du travail, that's Labor's Day. La fête nationale, national festival. La fête du père, Father's Day. Hier, yesterday. L'hiver, winter. L Halloween is Halloween. Le jour is a day. Le mois, month. Au mois de, in the month of. Nouvel an, New Year. Noël, Christmas. Park, Easter. Le pays, country. La plage, beach. Pour, for. Premier, first. Le printemps, spring. Ramadan is Ramzan. La Saint Valentin is Valentine's Day. La Saint Patrick is Saint Patrick's Day. La Semaine, week. La Toussaint is All Saints Day. Livecons, holidays. Livecons scholar are school holidays. Bon Vacons means happy vacations. So with this, we have completed the lesson number 9 of a Pranula Francais Method 1 book. So that's all for today. I hope all the concepts of this lesson was clear to you. So if you are facing any problem in any of the book or in some particular topic of French, then do write it down in the comment section. I will try to upload a video for the same as soon as possible. So till the time I post my next video, stay connected to my channel by subscribing it. And don't you forget to give your likes and your comments on my videos because your appreciation is the key to my motivation. So till the time I post my next video, au revoir and amianto. And you know it, what does au revoir mean? Au revoir means goodbye and amianto means see you soon.